the two favorites of the race immediately up front. And Daniel Nero behind them with his uh, teammate Daniele Di Stefano. So, and Gary Heckman is uh, going up front now. It's the car from Chinese Taipei is taking the lead now. And Gary Heckman is in fourth place. Yeah, Gary would say that he's a bit, uh, a bit on the steer is. That's his uh, quote on his Instagram account. Just moving his wheels smoothly. I guess it's a good translation for it. Ooh, and it's already a lot of speed in the peloton. A lot of lines, a lot of moves. And Bart Swings is now trying to get in second position and he's there. Behind him is big Felix Reinen. Felix Reinen is a world champion of last year. He won the points race on the road. Yeah, he's Felix a really is a strong skater. Yeah, he's more of a road racer, uh, Felix. The elimination is not his race. Well, last year, during the World Games, he got second place because there was a breakaway. Is there a chance we see a breakaway now? No, I don't think so. There are too many good skaters now. In Holland, we always like to break away. Every skater wants to break away, break away. But in the international field, with this speed, it's yeah. almost impossible to get a gap but of 10 meters or more. Actually, we don't have the guys for a breakaway now. Luke is the, the one who has to finish it off. And Luke is more of a, yeah. Luke has to have a, a fast sprint in the end and not a, not a breakaway. So the Dutch guys are in the middle of the pack. It's a really crowdy hair there. The so Korean they... girl guy was moving up uh, from the inside. With Pachi Perla in the front of the race and Kuhifante is moving up and Bix Felix is now leading the race. Or is it his teammate? No, it's Felix with um, Philip Fosner behind him. Now they change. So the next time they pass the finish, they hear the bell for the first elimination of the day. We see Timothy Lubino from France moving up with Daniel Nero. Now on the outside, Ewan Fernandez and Kuja Fonte. Manuel Saavedra behind him. So we have to look at the back of the race now. Who will be the first eliminated skater of this race? Oh, where there's a lot of fighting, a lot of grabbing. I saw a guy from Australia in the back of the pack. It's number four. It's number four from Australia, Mitchell Ross. Mitchell Ross is the first guy who is eliminated in this race. And in the meanwhile, we see Swiss guy Livio Wenger with his uh, teammate Peter Michael in his back. Maybe. Livio is working a little bit for his teammate. Yeah, oh, maybe the they do in a thousand meter the other way around. Livio is also a good skater in a thousand meter, but we will see later this evening if they both made it to the final. And we see now Timothy Lubino in the lead, and we have to say goodbye to number 140, 14 from Hungary, David Erdos, and we have another bell with the French guys in the lead, the Korean guy in the back, not sure if it's the junior world champion from last year, Jong, or his partner Lee, but he moved up. Ja, je ziet bij een afvalkoers eigenlijk dat telkens wanneer uh, de lijn genaderd wordt waar één rijder de wedstrijd moet verlaten, dat alles in elkaar schuift. Dat komt omdat de eerste rijders uh, al zeker weten dat ze niet als laatste de lijn zullen passeren, waardoor ze de benen stilhouden. En de laatste rijders die gaan juist heel hard sprinten omdat ze niet willen afvallen. Daardoor komt het altijd op een kluitje bij de finish. Nu zien we uh, Colombia aan de leiding en er wordt geduwd en getrokken. De afvalkoers yeah. wordt altijd veel gevochten. En de laatste elimination was voor Jaden Lennigan van Australië. Dus so we hebben geen any Australian guys in the pack anymore. Oh, and I think it's Tim Sibiat from Belgium who is eliminated. Yeah, it is. Ooh, so Bart Swings has to do it all by himself. Oh, that is a big disappointment for the Belgian guy. Oh, that's a pity. But also uh, Felix Reiner was in the back then, but he moved up. 
It's really hard to move up. If you're uh, in the last gate, it's really hard to move up to the first positions. It's so crowded. It's still a big peloton. And we see now the guy from Denmark. Oh, a big pause on the inside, but no, it wasn't enough. 38, Philip Dewey-Schmidt has to move the race. Yeah, and we see the French guys who always skate a good race in elimination. They're a really good team. Um, they're but in second and third position, followed by the Colombian and then the Italian guys. But they are even better in the points, Alim, so let's Absolutely see what they can do tomorrow. Yeah, and the Italian guys are doing a Ooh. real Italian race. We have a crash. We have a big crash. crash. Big crash. I see a USA guy in the crash. Ooh, there is a big Another crash. time, Luke Terhaar. Yeah, Luke Terhaar is in the crash. Oh, I but think they have to stop the race. There's still a guy on the ground. A guy from Ecuador. Ooh, and he's leaving the track now. He's looking to his wrist. Or his... Oh, I don't know what he's grabbing now. Bad news for Luke Terhaar. He already crashed he's back, in the, he's back in the peloton. I don't know if he crashed or he has to jump. But well. it seems like he crashed. But we uh, are missing some guys now. The guy from USA is out. Jakob Ulreich from Austria is trying to come back. So there is a crash, so there will be no eliminations for the, the, the next few laps. So we see the guy from Chinese Taipei moving up in first and second position. The guy from Chinese Taipei are Fu Ko and Ping Hu Ling. Beautiful names. Really easy to pronounce. When <laughs> oh, Bart Swings is moving up, he's taking the lead, followed by a guy from Ecuador. Who lost his teammate by a crash. Yeah, and Jota Balanas, who skated a really good thousand meters, who won his heat. But he's is not, not in, in this race. We see the 47, we have another bell. We have the, the board now on 49. And France is taking over the lead. Now it's Colombia who's taking over the lead. With Kuge Fante and Savagra. It's a really exciting race also in the front because they're changing a lot. And the Italian guys are moving up. The Italian guys are always together. They're not getting separated. They're always there. And I think they go for Nero today. He's a real contender for the world title. Yeah, the kid behind him became world champion two times last year, also on this elimination race, but it wasn't junior. Ooh, big fight, so big fight from, between France and Italy. Ewan Fernandez and Daniel Nero. So Daniel see, Daniel and Stefano are straight behind Daniel Nero to the front. Leaving now, we have to say goodbye to Miguel Bravo from Portugal. He has to leave the race. So the Italian guys are in the lead, followed by France, Colombia, and another France skater. And Bart Swings is around 10 position together with Gary Heckman. He is still in the race. He's a lot on the outside. But maybe for him that's the best position. It's easier for him to skate on the outside and even to, like, not fighting. It saves you a lot of energy. Then you can skate a second line. Yeah. So Easy. Gary is not taking the lead. He wants to stay outside. He wants to skate the second line. Not too much pressure on his line. We had an elimination from Japan with um, Nobayashu Korechu. So we see uh, Gary Heckman helemaal vooraan in the race. Uh, Luke de Haar zit uh, twee plekken achter hem. Oh, the guy from Korea. 85. 85. It's Ali Chang Chol. And Gary sit more rustig aan de buitenkant. Uh, uit het gedruk, uit het gedrang. Geen getrek, geen gevecht. Uh, hij zit daar goed. Uh, het is voor hem een goede positie. En Luc zit relatief gemakkelijk enkele posities verderop. Al raakt hij nu een beetje achterop. En zal hij weer iets moeten opschuiven. Fight for the first positions. We see Philip Fosner now in the lead. Taken really over well. by Ecuador. Ooh, that was a close finish. Maybe it's the other guy from South Korea. 
I don't know. Yeah, it is. It's the world junior champion from last year, Byung Kwan Chung. So that's a surprise. Both South Korean guys are out of the race. So Ecuador is leading now before Gary and Yuan Fernandez. There's Timothy Libano, yeah. So the pace is quicker now. It goes a little bit faster. And you see the guys in the back of the peloton dropping. Next is 58, 58. Philip Fosner has to leave the race from Germany. So we have just Felix Reinen left from Germany. The so Germans are with a big crowd here. With 38 laps on the board, we halfway the race. And there's still a big peloton. All the contenders are still there. The French guys are close Ooh, together now. The teammate of Pachi Piola made a mistake, but we have the guy from USA in the back. So that's Zachary Stoppelmoor from USA who has to leave the race. So Park Swings is moving up to the front. He's leading now. He was halfway to pack. So there's Peter Michael again. We didn't see him a lot. That's we only have to see him at the finish line. Yeah, so that's a good sign. So Peter Michael is still there and looking good. He's probably a contender for the win today. He was my pick. He's your pick, huh? <laughs> yeah, he, when Ooh, he was... Look. Looked a hard. No, that guy was, was almost in last position. We didn't see him either this race, so that's normally a good sign. But who was in last position? It's difficult because the judges still don't know. I think um, about Peter Michael, he won four or five times the elimination race in a row before he went, the night, uh, went to ice skating more. But we uh, have to say goodbye now to Ping Hun Ling from Chinese Taipei. Now the Spanish skater is in last position and I think he's out or maybe the guy from Chinese, Chinese Taipei. Taipei. 25, it's the guy from Chinese Taipei, Fu Shan Ko. In the meanwhile, the Colombian skaters are taking the lead, followed by a guy from Ecuador. Who's the guy from Ecuador? The guy from Ecuador is Carlos Matute. Carlos Matute, he's looking good. He's just in front of the French guys. And we have the next elimination. It's again, the guys from Spain are in the back. And I think there is... No, it's not Spain. It's Olivia Wenger from Swiss. Ah, uh, Olivia Wenger was surprised that he was the last guy in the race. With one lap to go, he was halfway to pack, and then on the finish line he was last. That's how an elimination race can go. Bart Swings is in the back now as well. But it's funny with the guys from Spain, they, they can move. They make insane moves, like they jump and... Oh, Gary Hackman. Gary Hackman was Pachi a Pachi almost position. crashed, and we have to say bye to big Gary. Gary Hackman is out the wedstrijd, and we have now only Luc Terhaar from Nederland. So, Luc Terhaar from the Dutch guys is also in the back, and the, the, the guy from Spain is like for 10 laps in the back, but he's still there. He's Still hanging in there, and he will try to pass. Oh, he will do it again. Guy. He will do it again. He's on the outside, passing. You see, he will do it again. Maybe Pachi is out. Then he would screw his teammate. No, it's the Argentina guys. Santiago Rumek. And Number there's a, a fight in the back of the group, but there's also a fight for the first position. All the guys want to lead the race. So the friends are there, the Colombians are there, Bart Swings, the Italian guys, and also the surprising guys from Ecuador. Still there. And we, yeah, it's now the end for David Morel. And you know who's still in there? Your dark horse, Diego Morelos. Yes. Did you see him? No. So that's good. When you don't see him, it saves a lot of energy because he's in the pack. 
So it's Luther Harsh still in there, but he's in one of the last positions, the Dutch guy. Maybe it's going to be hard this sprint. There's a guy from Chinese Taipei in the back and a Chile. guy from Argentina. Ooh, almost it's a crest. Ken Kuada. Next yeah, three, it's Ken, Ken Kawada. Oh, it's former world champion in the points race, Ken Kawada, who has to leave the race. That's so a big a surprise. Argentina is out. So there are still two guys from France, two, two guys Chile. from Italy, two guys from Chile, and two guys from Colombia. For the rest, it's all skaters who buy themselves. And the French guys are leading now, and the Colombians guys want to take over the lead, but they're not together anymore. Luke Tahar is in the back of the group, but he passed the guy from Chile, I think. Oh, uh, Peter Michael in the back. Peter Michael in the back. And you hear the, you hear the crowd. Peter Michael is out. Oh, it's always Peter tricky. Michael is out. Well, the, the, the multiple world champion on this distance, Peter Michael, has to leave the race. That shows how how high this level of this elimination race is. Oh, and the guy from Chile is fighting to get to the front together with his teammate and Luke Har. And I think a guy of Chile will be the last on the yes, line now. Number 16. And there we have. Ah, we, they gave us the wrong numbers. It's Raul so Pedraza from Chile. Bart Swings is moving up. He's leading the race now, followed by the two Italians who skate great like a team. Ooh, the Colombian guy is coming into them. And but they lost each other, the Colombian race. guys. So we see two Italian and two French guys together. They're moving together. Ooh, and the next elimination, the guy from Chile, a guy from Spain, and Luke Terhar from the Netherlands. It's the guy from Chile, yes. number 17. Hugo Ramirez Boada. So there are 10 skaters left. Oh, it's a great reason for Lictor Haar, who's still in the race. Yeah, but he already made top 10, so that's not his goal for this race. So but even he crashed this race, so... So we hear the bell now. There will be a next elimination. The guy from Spain, Pachi Puella, is now in the lead. He was in the back like two, re two laps ago, and he's now up front. Luke, Luke is moving. And can he pass can the he Italian guy? It? Can he pass the Italian yes. guy? Yes, or not? No, no. no. Luke Tahar is out in 10th position. No more Dutchies in the race. You heard the Dutch crowd, the charting. A big applause for the Dutch guy. But we'll have to continue. Bart Swings is now in the lead, followed by Sigurpante from Colombia. Yes, Alex Cujafante in second, Daniel Miero in third, and now you see the countries losing each other. France not together anymore, Italy not together anymore. Oh, and the French guy cheated. I think the French guy and is maybe out. by fault. Oh, no, they picked 62. Ooh. And just 12 laps to go, 12 laps to go, and the French guy who cheated on the line is still in there. Maybe the judges didn't see it or it is not enough to take him out. The French guy is leading now in the first two positions, followed by Bart Swings, Kuchefante and Daniel Nero. You see Daniel moving easy with Kuchefante now. Yeah, and Kuchefante who skated strong in the heat is skating strong Ooh, now. Saavedra, Pachi. Moreros, 35. Manuel Saavedra is out. Ooh, one of so the Colombian only guys. one Colombian guy left. So only the French guys have two skaters now. One of them is skating in front, Juan Fernandez, followed by his ex-teammate from Paolo Slide, Bart Swings. Kuchavant is moving up again with Daniel Nero in his back. Yeah, Nero chose the wheel of Kuchavant. He's never leaving him. Oh, and we see the guy from Ecuador who has to leave the race, Carlos Matute Cordero. So there are eight laps to go. There have to be two more eliminations. We're at seven guys. Pachi Puella from Spain is moving up. He's in the front now, followed by Curifante and Daniel Nero. Oh, he was Bart fighting Swings, with Daniel. Bart Swings looks not fast enough. But maybe is Diogo Maria is in last position now. Is he? Will he be eliminated? Yes, he gets up and 
Diogo Moreiras will be seventh in this race. Six skaters left with the two French guys in the two last Six positions. laps to go, so that means like another final of four laps with five skaters. But we only have two guys from France and all the others are by themselves. So what is gonna happen in? Bart swings in the lead, but he looks a little bit tired. Daniel Nero is looking really good. All the time behind Kuja Fante. Easy. Oh, and will it be Pachi Puela or Lubino? Or maybe Pachi. Felix Reinen. It's or close. Where do you see Felix? Oh, I'm sorry. It's you and <laughs> Fernandez. I'm... Pachi Puela is out. <laughs> so five skaters left for the final. I don't know if they're, they're going to bell again. So probably they three. They made him make a mistake another time. Can't imagine. We have to say goodbye to Lubino. So that's for sure. So as it, as it looks now, I think it will be a battle between Jorge Fante and Nero. As I can see it, I agree with you. Ah, now they eliminate him. So we do a finish with only three skaters. Bart so swings, two laps to go. Two laps to go in the belt. He's going early. Oh, it's really strange. It's another, another elimination. Ewan Fernandez is fighting. So Bart swings is leading in front of Kuchefante and down the Now they go now. to the belt. What the are they doing round. again? Down he goes for the last They lap. have the, the board on. It's Kuchefante. Kuchefante is leading four in front of Daniel Nero. And he's and Daniel and Bart were fighting. So Kuchefante got another world championship title. And Daniel Nero is angry. So another win for Colombia in front of Daniel Nero. And Daniel Nero looks at Bart Swings. What are you doing, man? They grab each other in the corner after the bell. But the bell was wrong, right? They belled like two to go, they belled with one to go. It was really confusing. I think they made a small mistake. But the, the skaters knew what to do. And Kofi went on the wrong time, uh, in a good time, and won the world He's title. He's really, really happy with it. Daniel Nero looks not so happy with Bart Twins at the moment.